Hello, how's everybody doing today? I am Lori Davis. If for some reason this is the first time you're running across um, me talking on one of these channels, um, I am a therapist by trade, relationship coach as well, and love to just come on and talk about topics that I think are pertinent to the times, give you some food for thought that might help you, also a spiritual advisor, and really just have a passion for helping people live happier lives. So what I wanted to talk to you about just a little bit today is kind of the increased sensitivity some people are feeling and maybe even some increased anxiety that some people are feeling. Whether you're a highly sensitive person or whether you're just dealing with everything that has been going on in the last year and a half. Um, if you're watching this later, we are at the end of May 2021, kind of just sort of coming out of the pandemic. So for a lot of people that I have been talking to, as we start to come back out into the world and we come back out into society, it really is bringing up a lot of anxiety for some people, a lot of stress, a lot of uncertainty. We have been sort of cocooned for a while. And when we're starting to get back out, it feels weird for some people. Some people are ecstatic about it. They have been cooped up and they've had hated it. For some people, they have really loved it. They've like, oh, this is ideal for me, always has been. For some people, me included, I think, I used to think I was much more of an extrovert and I've kind of learned over this period of time that I really enjoy the peacefulness, the quietness, the not being out and about so much. I've really taken a look at where do I want to spend my time and where do I not want to spend my time. And I think that that's been a really good thing. We've kind of had a reset where we've stopped that um, merry-go-round we were on and had a chance to really take a look at what works for us and what doesn't work for us. The other thing is that as people are get, getting back out in the world, some people are just really confused. They're confused about what to do, what not to do, what's safe, what's not safe. What do they believe? What do they not believe? There's just, you know, is it safe to share what I believe and tell other people? Or will I be criticized and condemned? So there's just a lot going on. And so you might, that might be something that you're experiencing and you're dealing with inside of yourself. It could also be that if you are a highly sensitive person, um, an empath, that you might be picking up on the stress and anxiety from the outside world and that can be affecting you. And if you're newer to sort of understanding that concept, it takes a while to kind of learn. Is it coming from me or is it coming from the outside world? And so if you've been cocooned a little bit more, maybe that hasn't been affecting you as much. And now that we're getting out or thinking about it, that you know might be affecting you even more if you're newer to that. If you're really sensitive, um, like I am and a lot of the people that I know, you've been feeling it the whole time and you've kind of gotten good at dealing with it. So that's a whole nother video. But let's just talk about what do we do about all of this, right? What do we do about it? So I think the first thing is to realize that we do not have to go back to the life that we had before. We don't have to go back to anything we don't really want to. Well, if you work for a company and you have to go back in the office, that's one thing. But the parts of your life that you do have control, you get some say so about. So what did you learn about this? What's working and what's not working for you? This is a perfect opportunity to draw in and really do some self-discovery. And I know I say that about everything, but it really is the key. We really do have to pull inside first, do our own work, take a look at what's working for us, what's not working for us. What do we believe? What do we not believe? And I was doing an interview for somebody the other day who wanted to talk about stress and anxiety. And we were talking about one of the things that I think is so important right now is to pull back a little bit from the amount of time you spend watching the news, reading news articles on social media about, about all of this. Because you can just, the fear factor can just really rise. The uncertainty, I love to scan the articles because I love to periodically, to just look at how they contradict themselves, you know, and how crazy it just all is. Um, and so, 
if you can see it at that sort of higher level, that high, higher vibe level, then it's okay maybe periodically to do that. But if it's causing you stress and anxiety, we need to pull back in a little and go, you know what, let me just do what feels right for me. What feels right for me. So some tried and true kind of techniques of dealing with some stress, some anxiety, if you're highly sensitive and you're feeling overstimulated. That's another thing I've been hearing from a lot of people is that they're getting overstimulated easily. They're more sensitive to sound, to light, to, to any kind of stimulation, being around people, that sort of thing. I've even noticed that with myself. And I think that that can be from being highly sensitive and all the energy that's out there, the heightened energy and anxiety kind of level that's out in the world. But it can also be a sign of spiritual evolution as we are raising our vibration sometimes we noticed sounds more, we notice light more, we are more sensitive to all, all of our senses seemed heightened. So it can be a good thing, except we still have to learn to deal with it, right? But let's go back to some tried and true things. So thinking about gratitude is always a wonderful thing. If you're feeling stressed, if you're worried about what to do, if you're feeling overstimulated, pull back in, and kind of just stop and go, I'm right here, I'm right now. What am I grateful for? What's good in my life? I've mentioned this before on this. What brings me joy? Let me do more of that. What doesn't? How can I maybe not go back to that in my life? What people do I want to be around? What people do I not want to be around? What activities do I want to participate in? Which ones do I not? I'm not sure. So let me go try. Let me dip my toe in the water over here. Oh, that feels good. Okay, that's going to be a puzzle piece in this new life that I'm coming out and creating. Oh, that doesn't. I don't think I want to add that to my life. We have more control than we give, our, give ourselves credit for. And we want to take that. We also want to look at our thoughts and watch where they're going. Are they running away with fear about this thing or that thing? You know, I won't go into specifics because I don't want to be political, but there's fear about should I do this or should I not do this? Is it safe to do this or is it safe to not do this? Which one's the better thing? Oh, they said this today. Now tomorrow they're saying this and I don't know what to believe. <sighs> Pull back in and just say, what feels right for me at this moment? At this moment, am I safe? Am I secure? What feels right for me? What decision do I want to make right now? Coming from here, not from the outside world. We need to get more dependent on listening to our own intuition, doing what's right for us. Um, we talked about finding joy in the moment. That is so, so, so important. And just, again, pulling in and then thinking about what are the things that work for you? Is it spending time in nature? Is it some meditation? Is it hot baths? Is it listening to music that feels good for you? So doing those things that help you to kind of disengage from whatever is going on that you're thinking about that's causing you that stress, that anxiety. If you're picking it up from the outside world, putting up that barrier between you and everybody else's emotions. And you can simply just ask, right? Envision, I like to envision like this plexiglass bubble around me, you know, and you can fill it with light if there's a color that calls to you at that moment. But see yourself protected from the outside, from other people's energy. And then get clear for you, for right now, as we are creating this new life. And the last thing that I just sort of want to leave you with is, it really is more than just about you. I want you to do this for you because I want you to find happiness. I want you to be more solid within yourself, to be calm more, to be peaceful, to enjoy the life you're living, to find joy and happiness in the moments. But it goes beyond that. We really are in a time, I believe, and if you've ever listened to me before, you know, where we are evolving as humans. We are getting to higher levels of consciousness. Our vibration is raising. It's so important that those of us that are on the path to do that and feel called to do it, that we do it. Because that's helping the people out there that don't 
that aren't on that path, that don't know about it, that it's not resonating with them at the moment to do that. And that's okay. They don't need to. But for us to do it, there's a lot of us that are feeling called to do it, that want to do this, right? That want to help the people that are in the collective fear, that are in the uncertainty. When we find the peacefulness and the gentleness and hold space for love, for gratitude, for peacefulness, for gentleness, when we find space for it, it radiate, radiates out and helps raise the vibration for everybody else and for the planet. So it really is, you can think about this if you're like, oh, that's craziness, I don't understand that, I don't believe in that, then just do it for you. But if you're like me and you feel like you're here for a reason and you're doing all this for a reason, then do it for the higher collective, for the higher consciousness as well. I hope that you found at least one little nugget of information in this that will fortify you, that'll give you an idea of something to do, that'll at least make you feel like, oh, thank goodness I'm not alone in this. <laughs> Other people are going through this, right? You know, because even those of us that are talking about it, that are doing the work, we still have moments where we're like, oh, this is weird. I don't know what to do about this. What do I want? What do I not want? So we have to do the work as well. So sharing that with you hopefully will inspire you, motivate you. And if nothing else, just you can feel the big hug that I'm sending your way. Okay? Sending you much love and light. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.